You'd better rest a while. Hey, Chow. How do you feel? Do you think you can possibly make it? Damn. Listen, Han, I can't even walk. So now everything's up to you. Up to me? Mm. In the time I've been working for Yan Shikai, I've noticed that the Qing is full of corruption. I joined the anti-Qing organization just two years ago. Right now, I'm carrying a very important document. It's meant for Mr. Chung in the South. I can't possibly make it, so it's up to you now. You must deliver it to him. Uh, I understand. Uh, Don't worry, but just tell me uh, where I can contact this Mr. Chung. Uh, uh, take this ring to Songli Town in Kyungsu. There you'll find Mr. Cheng Pai Lin. All the passwords are on the ring. The document. Be careful with it. Remember, Cheng Pai Lin has a bracelet. Take the bracelet and contact our comrades. That way you'll find Mr. Chung. You can depend on me. You're alive. Now listen, the Viceroy wants all anti-Ching rebels eliminated. I therefore need a complete list of their names, and unless I have it within a month, you'll all be fired. Is that clear? Yes. yes. I recently found out that there's a Mr. Cheng and his daughter who live in Songli Town. They're rebels. Songli Town? Yes. And this is from a reliable source. Your Honor, sir. Might I suggest that we blockade Songli Town and maybe we'll get some information? Good idea. Right then. Pass the order that, starting from tomorrow, checkpoints are to be set up at every entrance. You'll be in charge of this order, so be careful. Yes, sir. It shall be done. Come on, we haven't got all day. Let's see your papers, come on. Let's have a look at them. Seems all right. Go on. Next. Come on. You're a stranger. Yes. Where are you going? Songli Town, to see my uncle. Songli Town? That's right. Okay. Thanks. Next. Mr. Chen. Yes. A rather suspicious man has just passed through the town. What? Are you sure? Yes.
have him followed. Do you want us to arrest him? If necessary. Huh. Lady, what would you like to eat? I think I'll have two of those. Ah, yes. <laughs> against one. Let's go. Strong. I think it's time now for his lesson. Okay. Now you come with us. <laughs> Would you two mind telling me just what the hell you want? Well, you look like an anti-Ching rebel. Why not admit it? Here, for my meal. Thanks. Enough? Yes. Yes, thanks. Where are you going? You still haven't had your fighting lesson. Let me show you how fierce I can be. I'm sorry. No, no, you were terrific. Truly amazing. I must thank you for helping me. Forget it. But this area is under Ching authority. You'd better watch out. Or you might come to some harm. Four of the five most famous Shaolin fighters are working for the Ching, and they're all in town. The eldest is Li Xiaoxun. Then follows Wei Yi Chang and Ma Wang. Both these two are Li's bodyguards. The fourth one is Chen Chang, the silver-handed general. In the name of eliminating the rebels, they cause the ordinary people to suffer. You've mentioned four fighters. Who's the fifth? I don't know. But people say he's the only one who isn't evil. That's true enough. Thanks. I must go now. 
Thank you for your help and your advice. Not at all. We'll meet again. Hmm. Hmm. So then, you mean to tell me that you haven't found any suspects? Your Honor, we found a young man, but he managed to escape. And I suppose you don't know his whereabouts? Your Honor, he told the person at the checkpoint that he's gone to Songli Town to find his uncle. Now tell me, if you know all this, why don't you catch him? We will do. By now, four of our men will already be in Songli Town, and they're well prepared. Their passwords are all correct. I reckon that our Mr. Chang might have that name list. If he does, I'll get it from him. Hey, that's good. If you can get me that nameless, then I'll get good promotion. It will be done. You can't be too sure about that. You sure those four guys can handle this? Yes, but if it'll make you feel easier about it, then I'll go after them. Good. <laughs> We've come to deliver the dory. Just a minute. Which way is the wind blowing? The wind blows from the northeast. <laughs> well, welcome, friends. Thank you. I must see Mr. Cheng now. What's going on? <laughs> okay, Cheng, you've given me the bracelet. <laughs> Perhaps now you'll tell me who it is I'm supposed to communicate with. That is, if you love your daughter. Take the bracelet. And contact Master Yao at some moon village. Forgive me. Xiaohua, I had to tell them. I did it in order to save your life, my dear daughter. Okay, Cheng. I'm taking a daughter with me to make sure. To make sure that nothing goes wrong. Oh, oh. You can't do this. You can't do this. If anything should go wrong here, your daughter here will be the first to suffer. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Strike her. Strike her. It must be that young man. For the sake of your daughter, you'd better cooperate. Which way is the wind blowing? The wind blows from the northeast. And which horse is fastest? The fastest horse is normally number two. <laughs> what can I do for you? You're more than kind. Can you please take me to see Mr. Cheng? Of course. Please come in. Come to deliver the diary. You. You actually have a diary? Please take a look at this.
What does it mean to you? You said you had a, a dowry. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring it. I was in a hurry. Where's the bracelet? What's up? I don't understand. I lent the bracelet to someone. Huh? Lent? Run, get away! <laughs> Save her. They've gone to Sumum village. Tell me, where is Chung? Mr. Chung is in Sumum village. If you want to see him, you must contact Master Yao. He'll make all the arrangements and may Buddha be with you. As you can see, I've caught him for you. And just who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm just your friend. You see, I came here to be of some help. Damn you rat! <laughs> That's not really necessary. Miss Cheng and the bracelet are at Sun Moon Village. Thanks for your help. See you around. Hey! <coughs> what are you doing? Hey! Stop! 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 Don't go! That's my horse! That's my horse! <coughs> you bastard! <coughs> I've lost my horse and you're to blame! Shall take way. 
Are those two guys from Songley Town here? Not yet. Uh, and it's getting late now. They should already have arrived. Hmm. Well, I just don't like it. I have the feeling that something may have happened to them. Master Yao! Someone is coming! Wait a minute. Just a reminder. Your father's life is still in our hands. You must be sensible. Go on. That's Miss Soi Ha, isn't it? I wonder why she's here. You must realize one unusual thing about Mr. Cheng. He is a very careful man. He even sent his own daughter to meet us. I see. Oh, Miss Cheng, it's nice to see you. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a long while. And who are these two guys with you? They've just come with me to visit you, Uncle. Oh, well, so long as we're all friends. But you must be very tired, aren't you? Master uh, Yao is most considerate. Let's all go inside, shall we? Thank, Thank you. you. Come along. Okay, let's exchange wedding gifts. Yes. I'll take you to Liu's village to meet Sun Yao Chai. He'll then take you to see Mr. Chung. No, you mustn't! Huh? The Ching's men! Huh? <laughs> Please, I haven't eaten in days. Please take pity on me. <laughs> take this. Oh, thank you. Go on, be off. Thanks. You're a very kind man. Should it 
happen that my father is killed, then do not expect one drop of mercy. <laughs> Miss Cheng? Miss Cheng? What is it? Uh, Master Yao wa wants you to join him. Of course. Lock them up. Yes. Master Yao, Mr. Cheng is dead. He was killed by the Qing's men. In that case, our cover will also have been blown. Just one thing. I must meet Mr. Chung as soon as possible. Hmm. Well, I'll take you to Liu's village. There's a drug seller called Sun Yao Chai, and he can take you to see Mr. Chung. A drug seller? That's right. For safety reasons, each one of us has his own separate identity. And he's a drug seller. You yourself must have had a hard time of it, haven't you? Well, not so bad. Hmm. <laughs> Allow me to introduce somebody to you, my dear. Mr. Han. Hi, miss. How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Master Yao, when are you going to take me to Liu's village? I knew you'd want to know that. You'd better rest now. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Master! Outside, a lady looking for Mr. Han. A lady? We'll go out and have a look. Sure. <laughs> well, so it's you again. What do you want? You know what you did. I helped you out, and then you stole my horse. Aren't you ashamed? It was an emergency. There was no time to explain. Please believe me when I say I'm sorry. That's not enough. Wait. Since you two know each other, why don't you come in? Mr. Han, why not invite this lady inside? Yes. My dear lady, won't you please come in? Thank you, no. Just return my horse. Of course. Unless I'm mistaken, this girl is the daughter of Mr. Chang. Why, she is. How did you know? Her father is dead. I saw it myself. <gasps> he was killed by the Qing's men. Oh. Hua! Oh. Miss Cheng! Well, get her inside. Uh, yes, yes, yes. See what you've done, bitch. What do you mean? Was well, much too sudden. Now then, Han, if there's some misunderstanding between this lady and yourself, you should compromise. There's no point arguing over small matters. We should be friends. Now, why don't we all go inside? Come along now. Thanks, but I must leave. Next time you won't be let off so lightly, I promise you. That lady behaves like a man. That's right, but then I had stolen a horse. Yeah, but only because it was an emergency. Hey, you must get some rest now, ready to start tomorrow. Right.
Chai. He must be very careful. Oh, go. Oh, oh, master. Who is responsible for this? This foul deed was done by those Qing men. by that old fox. What do we do now? That old fox has pushed you too hard. Hm. I'm gonna take revenge someday. Hey, let's leave immediately for Liu's village and try and find Sun Yao Chai. Sun Yao Chai? That's right. Master Yao was talking about him. Hey, after Master Yao saw the bracelet, he said we should find Sun Yao Chai first, and then Mr. Chung. Really? Mr. Chung? Correct. Is there really a drug seller called Sun Yao Chai? Yes, you can be sure of it. I've double checked everything. Do you realize that this mission is of the utmost importance? I do. You have ten more days in which to succeed, so there must be no more foul ups. Yes. Uh, if you should be successful, then I shall gain great promotion. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, I shall immediately go out and find Sun Yachai. And I guarantee that I'll bring him here to you. Mm. Fine.
You two, stay right here. I'll be back before you realize it. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the most exciting program ever attempted. It's called The Springing Girl, and the young and very lovely performer is my own sister. This is a most dangerous act, as you will soon witness with your own eyes. And now, with your permission, here she is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. And now I would like to introduce to you a new wonder drug, which you can all try now. Here, try some. Here, have Don't some. You? Ladies and gentlemen, please listen carefully. I'm not bluffing when I say that this drug can cure any illness and you'll never get it again. I promise you. Give it a try if you don't believe me. If it doesn't work, you can break my signboard. Huh? Please give it a try. Come on. Drug seller, are you sure this stuff really works? I'm convinced that you're bluffing. Huh? What was that? I told you, if my drug doesn't work, then you're welcome to come back and break my signboard down. Then it really works, does it? Well, my father's legs are hurting him. I wonder if you could come to our home and have a look for yourself. Well, whereabouts do you live? Which way's the wind blowing? Which horse runs fastest? Uh-huh. Uh, I'll be there. Selan, I'll be back soon. Just pack up and go on home. All right, but please come back soon. What is it? Your Honor, Master Chen and Mr. Sundam arrived. You may go. <laughs> you four also. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
I am honored that you come. Please be seated. Please be seated. Thanks. Tell me, how long has the sickness bothered you? Uh, he only gets it on windy days. Is that true? Which way is the wind blowing? Answer my question, which way does it blow? How dare you? So you're anti ching <laughs> You trap me. <laughs> better give us that name list and we'll let you go free. Hey, you better hand over that name list and you'll save yourself a lot of suffering. All right. But you must keep it secret, though. Do you promise me, huh? <laughs> of course. OK. <laughs> Imbecile! Don't you worry. I'll soon get him back for you. Idiot! You have 24 hours. Do you understand? It's terrible. That old fox is really short-tempered. That silly old fool. I'll get even with him. I'll show him who has 24 hours. But I'll get Sun Yat Chai first. I hear that he's living in a ruined temple. That's splendid. Ironhead. Yes. I'm gonna get Sun Yat Chai. And by not taking him to the old fox, you get the promotion. Exactly. <laughs>
You still around? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much for helping me. If it hadn't been for you, then I would surely have been killed. Oh, forget it. But it's getting late. You'd better go home. Yes. Can you tell me, I mean, would you tell me who you really are? That's not important. What is important is justice and freedom. And I hate those Ching bastards just as much as you do. And you really know where Sun Yao Chai is, do you? Yes, sir. Up on the hillside in a ruined temple. I must have that damn bastard recaptured. I'll go myself. Sir. sir. And you're going to prepare the sedan chair. Sir. sir. Speak, damn you! Are you ready to talk? I don't have a list! I don't have a list! I beg you, please don't hit my sister-in-law! Just hand over to me that name list. And I promise I shall set you both free. What? I've never heard of the name list. No, really? All right, I'll tell you. Don't say anything. Release her and I'll tell you everything. Oh, Lan, you mustn't tell him anything. You bitch, you must be crazy. You must want to die. <laughs> Hillside. A ruined temple? Huh? Xiao Lan! Brother! Xiao Lan, what happened? Brother, your wife is. Huh? Oh, May! you be? That's the man who killed your wife. You'd better give me the name list of the rebels. Do you hear what I say? You just have to be joking. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> Do you still not know who I am? So it's you. You're the man who killed my wife. <laughs> That's right, the same. <laughs> the name list. Okay, it's a deal. This is what you want. <laughs>
Sister of Sun Yao Chai. Hmm. Hmm. Where's your brother? Where is he? Speak! Hmm. If you don't talk, you'll have to suffer. Your Honor! L look what I found! This is the name list. Forgery. Now search again thoroughly. Sir. Yes. telling me why you're always following me around. But don't lose your temper. I mean you no harm. I realize your intentions are good, but I just... You just want to know who I am. Remember those five Shaolin fighters when I told you the youngest fighter was so very different from the other four? You mean it's you? That's right. That's fantastic. Tell me, are you willing to help me? I realize that you need help, and that's why I follow you. You're very kind. However, 
There is one condition. What condition? My brother's been arrested by the Qing on a charge of being a rebel. I've tried to rescue him, but they want 500 tails of gold before they will release him. Well, your brother's very lucky to have a sister such as you, but you really shouldn't use gold to bargain for his release. You won't give it to me. That's what you're really trying to say. In that case, there's no more to be said. I must find another way of releasing him, which doesn't require any money, and I'll stop at nothing to get him out. Mr. Hahn, you should realize that from now on, things are going to be a lot different. What do you mean, how different? You don't seem to understand at all, do you? Let me spell it out for you. We are enemies. Brother, trust me, I'll save you. I... I can't help. But... You have the authority, please. We're comrades of Shaolin. I'd like to help you, but I'm unable to. Look at it my way. I am an official of the Emperor. I can't disobey his orders. I understand. But... Is there nothing you can do about it? I can think of a possible way to go about it, but... It's not going to be easy to pull off. He's my brother. We used to live together. I'll do anything for his sake. I'm willing to accept any conditions. With 500 tails of gold, you can bribe the officials. Do you understand? of names. You have it already. <laughs> Don't you play any tricks. That one's a forgery. You just better hand over the real one. Forgery? I'd no idea. Bastard! <laughs> to talk. Your brother, tell me where he is. I beg you, I don't know. Maybe you know where the name list is. that old fox. Oh, he's in the cellar interrogating that young lady. Hmm. I have good news. I've caught Sun Yat-chai. Oh, good. You mean it? <laughs> 
Sure. I've hidden them away somewhere secret. That bloody old man, I'm gonna take revenge on him. Then we'll see who's the fool. <laughs> You'll gain promotion. In a few days, I'll take Sun Yat Chai and we'll deliver him in person to the commissioner. Uh, you'll receive a fortune and you'll be a rich man and be promoted. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, but I can't find Sonia. Strange. Why oh, no? Where's Sonia Chai? I've no idea. I've really no idea. The bastard's lying. Why oh, no? Do you swear by God that you know nothing? I've already told you. I really don't know where he is. I swear. I believe him. I don't think he does know anything about it. Hmm. Tell me, what makes a person like you act against all these innocent people? I only do it for the money, and all this trouble means no pay. It breaks my heart to think about it. That means if I give you money, then you'll do anything that I say? Why, I do anything for money? Hmm. Now, if I give you all this money, will you do as I tell you? Yes, of course I will. Good. Now I'm ordering you to find out where Sun Yao Chai and his sister are being held. And you really give me all the money? Provided you can find them. All that money's yours. All right, it's a deal. I'll find them for you. Don't worry. <laughs> What are you? Haven't you caught Sun yet? I'm sorry, I'm still looking for him. Damn you, you useless idiot. You have disappointed me. You have defamed the reputation of the five fighters of Shaolin. I haven't done anything I ought to be ashamed of. What? Damn you, a mission like this should never have been fouled up. Don't dare try and deny it. I admit I'm to blame. Just please give me a bit more time. Because we're brothers of Shaolin, you have just one last chance. Brother! How is everything? Just fine, thank you. It's a long time since we've seen each other. So, another brother is also present. Well, how are things with you, then? Fine, thanks. Surely you know I came here for a special purpose. How can I be of assistance? Hmm? Don't pretend you know nothing about it. Well, is the 500 tails of gold ready? <laughs> I have something even more precious than that. More precious than 500 tails? That's right. Maybe you know something about a certain drug seller.
Sun Yao Chai. Precisely. Wouldn't you say that he was more precious than gold? <laughs> I understand you perfectly. Chen Cheng. Yes? You see, she wants to exchange her Sun for her brother. What's your opinion? We are comrades. Just do her a favor. Hmm. I thought it over. It's a deal. Well, that's settled then. It's a fair deal. As regards the venue, bring Sun Yat Chai here and I'll release your brother. Hmm. I will. And when shall it be? Tomorrow, in the morning. Right, that's fine. There's no need to worry, big brother. I always keep my word on such things. Then I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good. Cheng Chang. Yes? Her brother is a convict. Don't release him. You must be extra careful tomorrow. I will be. And what's more, if necessary, you kill her. All right. So. It's she who spoiled my plan. You found them yet? Yes, I have. Sun Zvin captured by a woman who is taking him to Master Li. Can I have my money now? He sounds as though his information is truthful. Naturally, it's the truth. My money, please. Hold it. First, I have to check with Mr. Lee. If you're telling the truth, you shall be paid. Ah. Go, tie him up. Ah! 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 What do you mean by this? Ah! Remember, be extra careful when Sun Yao Chai comes. No problem. I've planned absolutely everything. I'll take no risks. I'll disguise someone as her brother. Mm, good. Good idea. <laughs> Master Chen! Miss Ha and Sun Yao Chai have arrived. Show them in. Yes. Please come in. Brother, the guy you wanted, is it him? <sighs> it's a pleasure to cooperate with you. Cheng Chang, take my friend down to the cellar to see her brother. Of course. Please. Just wait here, will you? And then I'll bring your brother out. Go right ahead. Come on. Hey! How did you get in here? <gasps> Who are you? I am looking for Sun Yao Chai. If you know where he is, tell me. Unless I'm mistaken, you're rebels. Very clever. You'd better stay smart if you want to live. <laughs> you're proud of yourself, you know that? Release Sun Yao Chai.
Release my brother. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mr. Hahn, we must go our separate ways. You've been of tremendous help to every single one of us. Miss Ha, you have our sincerest thanks. Don't mention it. It's everybody's duty to do exactly the same thing. Thanks, anyhow. I'm sure Mr. Chung would also be very grateful for your help. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 